Hello and welcome to the vlog. I'm Lizelle Sambury. I am a traditionally published author. <laughs> so much easier now to say that now that the book is out. Um, but yeah, today's the start of the vlog. It's Wednesday, actually Wednesday this time in my last vlog. I was like, it's Wednesday and it was Thursday. <laughs> um, but this is the week after debut week and I'm trying to get back <laughs> to a regular schedule. Um, I'm going to be working on edits for my sequel, so the sequel to Blood Like Magic, which came out last week, if you didn't know. Uh, I just washed and styled my hair, so if you're like, why does your hair have a bunch of white stuff in it? It's product. It's It'll try. <laughs> Uh, but I'm doing an event later on tonight, so I got my hair refreshed for that because um, I have uh, this event and then tomorrow I have another event and then on Friday I'm pre-filming something, so it, it called for fresh hair, <laughs> so here it is. Um, but yeah, I'm working on edits for my sequel. Um, in my last vlog, which you can see over there, we ended off with me being really <laughs> sad um just hormonally sad and then I read my edits I had to go over and I couldn't figure anything out and I basically just like panicked <laughs> um things are going better now so yesterday I did actually start working yesterday I just forgot to film but <laughs> yesterday I basically went through all of my editors inline notes so she gives me an edit letter but she'll also comment on the actual document so I went through all of her inline notes and I basically like edited all of that stuff really fast and what couldn't be done in a quick edit I basically made note of in my chapter outline so I have a giant chapter outline that says everything that happens in every chapter to help me guide my edits and so I basically just slotted in places where I was like Sarah thinks you should do this in this thing or Sarah was confused about this make this more clear sort of thing um, and then the larger edit letter questions I basically broke down into figuring out um, essentially explanations and justifications for why things are done like that in the story so I did almost all of those I do need to do a few more so for Luke who is the love interest I need to better fix his arc um, in this book because I made it but because of dynamics in the book it's difficult to tell how he really feels um, because yeah, it's difficult to tell how he really feels and so that needs to come out better. I thought that I made that come out, but because of my editor's confusion, I can tell that I didn't succeed with that. Um, so I'm gonna like basically write out his arc again, like based on the beats of the book and basically figure out how he's feeling in each beat so that I can make that extra clear. Um, so that's something I need to do. Um, I also got some sensitivity read edits because there's some stuff in the book. In the first book, there's some things about substance abuse. Um, one of the characters uh, is addicted to a substance. Um, in the book and uh, hence the substance abuse um and so in this book it's quite a bit more prominent that character working through that and so i ended up hiring my own sensitivity reader to check over that um and help me out with that so i have their edits and i'm gonna go through those today um because they're not super extensive so i think i should be able to fix everything in one day and then um, we also have uh, the same sensitivity reader who read for Luke, who is trans in the first book. He's reading again for Luke in the second book. And so his edits are coming in July 1st, I believe. So at some point I'll have to like stop and incorporate those as well. But the goal for um, this week for me is to work on planning everything, getting all my plans and my explanations and everything in place so that I can go ahead and get started. So yeah, that's what this week is gonna be and this vlog might be one week, it might be two weeks, but we'll see.
is Friday. Um, yeah, it's Friday. <laughs> I just, I woke up like an hour ago. Um, and even though I was lazy, I went in and did some work. So what I've been doing these past few days has been like getting all of the notes together. Um, so my sensitivity reader for Luke, um, his notes came in earlier than expected, so that was great. Um, and it was really, really helpful. Um, his notes were basically like, um, the sort of like, what the representation that was in the first book kind of disappeared in this book. Um, I think because I wasn't really talking about like the characters, like the trans characters, transness and those sorts of things. Um, and I thought that was a really helpful note for me because it's the, this is the thing about sensitivity readers and I have like a whole video I do here about working with sensitivity readers. They're not just there to tell you that when things are harmful, like they can also talk about opportunities. Um, and so him bringing that up was like, oh, okay, yeah, I can definitely find opportunities to chat about that a bit more um, so that you can feel the same level of representation that was in the first book. So that was a really, really helpful note. Um, and I had been thinking about that already because, you know, I have a character who in the first book uh, is doing a lot of dating and that sort of thing. Um, and that kind of disappears in this book and it disappears for reasons. But then I was like, that should kind of come up again because she kind of had a big revel revelation about that in the first book and it just kind of also disappeared. So that was really helpful. I'm going to be doing that. So I incorporated all of those notes into my plotting plans. Um, and then my other sensitivity readers notes, I incorporated those as well. And then the inline notes that my editor had. So as of today, <laughs> all those notes have been put into my little chapter summary, along with notes of things I had to work through. So that one thing, that I had struggled originally to come up with a solution for, um, I have in there. Um, and I redid the love interest, uh, Luke's. I like wrote out his whole arc to kind of make it more clear. And I put that in. So that's going in there. Um, and yeah, so I've been able to work through everything despite my initial freak out before. <laughs> um, so I've been able to work through everything and I have everything pushed into my um, chapter summary so I can start working on it. So I mapped out how many days it would take me to work on, to get the whole book done working on each chapter. And I decided that I wanted to do two chapters a day. Um, and I also kind of want to finish before my deadline because um, I'm going to Toronto for a week in July um, and I kind of don't want to work while I'm there. Um, and so that would mean I would have to finish this a week early. Um, and so based on that timeline, I do actually need to start revising today and do two chapters today, which is fine. Um, so I'm going to do that probably not now, probably in the afternoon sometime. Um, I'll start working on that just to give myself a break. But yeah, so that's the plan. We're going to we're finally going to jump into the revising because all the planning is done. in my hair on account of painting but very happy that the bathroom renovation is basically done we have a couple spots that we like went over with and so we have to take mineral spirits to basically like 
get rid of the paint there. Um, but otherwise done, which is very good. <laughs> it is Thursday. Um, so it's Canada Day. Um, instead of like celebrating, doing barbecue, that sort of thing. Um, staying with the solidarity of, you know, learning about Indigenous peoples and like thinking about the things that are going on and grieving um, and like trying to find ways to help with that um, so that we are as a country acknowledging like not just like the horrible things in the past but like there are people in the present who we're at residential schools. It is not a thing that is in our past. It is something that is still ongoing and like trying to be part of a Canada that is acknowledging that and trying to find ways to support Indigenous peoples. Um, so that's the Canada Day thing for today. Um, I literally don't own anything orange so that's why I'm not wearing anything orange today um but yeah so that's kind of what's going on for Canada Day today um otherwise I've been doing my writing and stuff like normal sequel stuff um I'm also reading my AMM mentees book again because they finished edits so I'm doing my next round of um editing on that or like commenting and that sort of thing um sequel feelings <laughs> it's so funny because for so long I felt so good about this sequel and so a hundred percent confidence and like yes this is like a very worthy sequel of this book and this is gonna be great and people are going to love it and I think this is awesome and then <laughs> in like the last few days I've like been bitten with like the doubt bug and now I'm like oh is this actually good or like is this going to be something that people like and like is this actually like a good follow-up I was like and I think part of that is like because <sighs> this is the age-old thing <laughs> when you tag authors and negative reviews which like mostly happens to me on instagram it's like pretty picture and it's like oh yeah and then suddenly it'll be like and this is what i hated about the book and you're like oh, oh okay so like even though i as a person i am an author that doesn't interact with reviews um in that like if people have tagged me and like usually I will like the pretty picture because also in some cases like you know I have like a book tour bookstagram tour thing going on and they're taking me so I can see the picture and it's part of the tour or they're like the review is mostly positive and so that's why they tag me and I'm like fine to like it but I really don't interact with those I don't go on goodreads and look at my reviews I very much avoid that <laughs> um because I it's it's one of those things where I'm like the art the book is already out there I'm not going to change it suddenly because of something that has come up unless it's like something like this is very problematic and harmful um, even in that case the books would have to be changed for print runs going forward so the print run that is out there could not be changed um, so that's another reason why I don't interact with views like your critique is not going to be used <laughs> Um, and so I think when people are wanting that dialogue, I'm like, that's that's why reader spaces exist. That's why things like Goodreads exist and like book tubers that like do reviews and people interact with them in the comments. Like that's a whole separate thing. But anyway, because I have mistakenly been exposed to some of those things, I think it's made me a little suddenly self-conscious about what I'm doing in the sequel and like, oh, this person said they hated this thing and like, am I just doing that again in the sequel? But I'm really working hard to get that out of my head. One, because I'm like, if you really didn't like the first book, you're not gonna read the second book, so I don't have to worry about disappointing you. <laughs> and two, um, really reminding myself that the sequel is its own book and its own thing, and it's not going to be exactly like the first book because it has its own quality, and if it was exactly like the first book, then why even make a sequel? 
Um, but yeah, I think it's also because I'm getting to the point where I know I'm going to, like this is my last developmental edit and then we're going to be doing line edits. And then once we're at copy edits, you're basically not changing anything big. Um, and I think I'm just feeling the anxiety of like going to the point of no return. Um, so that's kind of where I'm at. I think I'm doing, I'm on like the uptick now. I think I had a little down tick and now I'm coming back up. So things are fine. It's just like I had that moment where I was like, oh no, should we throw the whole thing in the trash? Question mark. Um, yeah, so there was that. <laughs> Trying not to make this update too long. Um, the only last thing I have to say um, is otherwise today I actually got some really great news. I cannot share now. I will share in the future and I will remind you that this is what I was talking about. Um, so that's also, I think, added to the positive uptick. So doing good. of the vlog it's saturday not sunday but i figured i would end it early because i don't picture myself doing anything like particularly extra for the rest of the week i've kind of just been working steadily <laughs> as far as it goes um so yeah i'm continuing to work on sequel edits um i'm past the midpoint now which is good by the end of next week I should be done um, hopefully um so far the edits have been like fairly not super light I would say but it's like mostly tweaking which it didn't seem like that when I like first looked over my notes and my editor was like these are like pretty light edits I think and I was like uh I don't know about that but now I'm like oh yeah no I totally see that it's just like I have to do a lot of tweaks but it's still tweaking I'm not like doing whole chapters or anything there's one spot where I may add in a little bit of a scene um in the first book Voya and her dad kind of have this um sit kind of and chat moment um and that's not in the second book currently and I kind of want to put in a bit of a moment like that um so I might write in that scene later, we'll see. Um, but really like the heaviest amount of edits is in like the latter half of the book. It's such a struggle, at least for me personally with sequels, especially because this is a series ender. Oh, here comes my dog. Because this is a series ender, my <laughs> struggle is that the like denouement, you know, where you like wrap everything up and you're like, this is what happened here and this is what happened here. And like, now this is the ending of the book and series. It's so much. <laughs> so I have to do a lot in like the final chapter and it does kind of feel almost like it's like too much stuff. And in the first book, I kind of had two sort of denouement so i had one moment with one thing happening but like one action bit happened in it but it was also partially wrap up and then i had another chapter which i guess you could think of kind of as an epilogue but i didn't put it as an epilogue because i was like it's just the final chapter <laughs> and that like wrapped up things again but in this book there's only one chapter basically doing like all of that work and i struggle because i was like i feel like too much stuff is happening but it's just like i don't know where else like for that wrap up to happen because there's so many little things that it's like this is how this happened and this is how this happened and it's kind of like 
yeah and there were questions you know there were questions my editor had also about like what about this and like okay and then I gotta like put that all in so I'm a little bit stressed that the last chapter is a little too packed but I don't know maybe I read those endings and I don't really notice because I want to know all the things that happened um but yeah so yeah but that's that's for uh, next week, Lizelle. <laughs> um, so this week, that's how it's going. And this, by tomorrow, I'll be done reading my AMM mentee stuff and be able to get feedback back to them. Um, today, I'm doing errands. I gotta mail a package. I gotta go get a bunch of fabric. Um, you'll see that. I'll put it for you later in like the B-roll before this clip so you can kind of see some of the sewing project stuff that I'm working on now. I was chatting about sewing with uh, Kevin the writer <laughs> who I'll link in the description. I was talking about like sewing and we were talking about like wanting to sew different stuff and then like not following through <laughs> and I was like yeah I have projects that I need to follow through on um so I'm gonna now now that we're out of lockdown I'm able to go and do that oh yes I didn't talk about that but you saw some footage of that too I got to see my book in the bookstore for the first time it was super nice the lady at the store was really lovely I got to sign the books I signed all the books in the front which was like most of the books in stock and there was like one in the back and I like went to the back to like I like to you know I like to visit the Y section and be like oh look at all my friends books um and also I wanted to pick up books myself <laughs> <laughs> and she was like oh there's one here she's like do you want to sign this one too and I was like yeah sure that's totally fine I'm already here so that was really exciting and I was really really happy to finally be able to do that I thought I wouldn't be able to do that until we went to Toronto to visit but it was super super nice um, and that was cool I think because it's a coal store and not an indigo store they don't have like the staff pick of the month um so my book didn't like have a staff pick of the month sticker but when i go to indigo um in toronto and i think i'm gonna stop at one more on the way down they'll have that sticker and they'll have the little display so that'll be fun to see in the future so yeah overall this week my main takeaway is i'm like and my goal for next week is I need to reinstate my work hours. I've basically been waking up whenever and it just like, it makes the day pass so much faster. And I'm the sort of person where I lose a lot of productivity the later on in the day. So like once it's like five o'clock, like I don't want to work. Like yesterday <laughs> I was doing stuff until nine o'clock because I had procrastinated and I was so annoyed. Like I was walking around super irritable because I had had to do that and like my mood was so off and I really had to turn it around <laughs> so I don't like doing that <laughs> so my goal so next week I'm gonna start waking up at 8 30 8 30 means I have like half an hour to roll around in bed and like waste time and get ready so that I'm in my chair in front of my computer at 9 a.m. and I'm working and I need to just like work like a work day no more of this like waking up whenever and doing whatever stuff like I need to <laughs> focus and like in state proper working hours so that I can actually get stuff done um so that's what I'm going to be doing next week but um to anyone that's like working on camp I hope your camp is doing well um I'm I mentioned this before but I'm not doing camp because I have like too many projects and too many things on the go <laughs> to be honest um so I'm but I am doing weekly vlogs um just because I'm I figured in the Camp Nano spirit I would do weekly vlogs even if I'm not doing Camp Nano but if you are doing Camp Nano I hope that's going really well for you um thank you for watching this video if you liked it please give it a thumbs up and if you haven't subscribed already why am I pointing that way please subscribe <laughs> um yeah and thank you so much for watching bye